Well, there's an old saying, a brother is a person who is there when you need him. Isn't that the truth? Yep. The brother of a widow came to his sister's aid, and tonight she is so grateful. WATE 6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare is here to explain. The woman was about to lose some benefits, and then her brother yeah. did some research, Don. Yeah, he found out that her small life insurance policy can be assigned as an irrevocable trust, hmm. which will explain. Life insurance protects your family financially. One type of policy is called a whole life. It costs more than a term life, but it includes an extra savings component. Funds that are in the policy's savings are invested and provides a cash value to the insured. For those who own a small life insurance policy, the cash value is considered an asset. At first, that additional asset was a disadvantage for a Sevier County woman. It's time to take some medicine. Mary Ann Wright is one of several family members who looks after Kate, her sister-in-law. At 79, Kate is a widow. She lives alone and recently was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer. Kate asked that we not use her last name. Many in the family were concerned when last month Kate received notice that her 10 care Medicaid benefits were being dropped. That had to have really been a shock to you. Oh, it was. It sure was. It's a big shock. Last fall, with the help of her family, Kate applied for nursing care, a specific Medicaid program designed for people with low incomes. However, she was denied because her resources exceeded $2,000. Kate receives just over $700 a month from Social Security. She has a small whole life insurance policy through AARP, and she owns an older car. These few assets add up to just over $4,400, but to keep her 10-care Medicaid, $2,000 is the limit. As a result, the state suggested that she find health insurance through the marketplace. With your limited resources, you weren't going to be able to afford to, to buy your own insurance. Oh, no, I couldn't have bought it with what I had. There's no way. Not only was she distraught, Myself and the other sisters in the family were really uh, upset about it. Kate's younger brother, Ray Wright, started making calls trying to find out how he could help his sister. He said a supplemental policy was way beyond her financial means. The monthly fee for the insurance would be twenty-seven seventy, and the, and for the prescription drug would be seventy-six ten for a total of one hundred and three eighty. Now, she can't afford one hundred and three eighty a month. Through one of his calls, Ray discovered some little-known information about whole life insurance policies. Either part or all of the policy's cash value can be placed into an irrevocable trust. That insurance policy can be assigned to a funeral home because that's what it was intended to do. This is the irrevocable assignment form that has to be signed uh, by the insurance owner. Jackie Underwood is a pre-need coordinator with Atchley Funeral Home. By completing an irrevocable trust, which Kate is now doing, she'll be able to keep her federal benefits. This basically removes the opportunity for an insurance owner to cash out a policy, and therefore that cash is not accessible, and therefore it does not count as an asset when the government looks at a Medicaid application. At the time of this assignment, no money is transacted. There's no money that exchanged. It stays in the policy until that time of passing. Kate says her insurance policy was always intended to pay for future funeral expenses. I think what you're doing here today will help someone in the future who runs into this problem. Now, while Kate has a small life insurance policy, many people own larger ones with more value. If the beneficiary assigns all or a portion of the benefits to a funeral home, there are other issues you must consider. Aside from funeral expenses, what else do you want your loved ones to be able to pay for? Credit card bills, the mortgage on your home? So if you have a whole life policy, review it to make sure it's assignable to a third party. And Lori and Bo, Kate is very pleased to have that brother looking out for her. I bet, no doubt yes. about that. Yeah, Ray's a good guy. Yeah. So glad for her. Yes, Don, thank you. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. Mm -hmm. You can also pick up the phone and call a six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.